this is a ultrasound study of uh, a young female married uh, one month with uh, history of uh, pain, dyspareunia, as well as uh, pain in the pelvic region, constant pain. Now, with no history of menstrual disorder, this is the uterus measuring 6.4 centimeter by 2.7 centimeter. This is the uterus in transverse section measuring 3.6 centimeter. This is the ovary, left ovary, measuring 4.5 by uh, 2.5 centimeter weight. Uh, you can see tiny developing follicles uh, within this uh, ovary. Now the uterus is normally length and uh, the endometrial canal is uh, central, is clear, is normal and here myometrium is normal, posterior is normal. This is the vagina and uh, when I move the probe towards the right side, right at next side, I see a large echo-filled cystic area that does not change its shape. When I change the uh, direction of the probe or give a sweep to the probe, it retains its shape and uh, its approximate volume is uh, I'm going to do it as now the approximate volume is about ninety two. Uh, ml, but uh, it will be more than uh, uh, 100 ml when it will be aspirated or whatever procedure will be adopted by the uh, by her physician. Uh, the blood urinary bladder is overfilled, and note that this is full of echoes, filled with echoes, this is, and. Uh, the right ovary is otherwise not, uh, cannot be seen, is not seen rather. This is the right ovarian cyst full of echoes and uh, it, there is uh, no blood supply seen within the cystic area. This is the ovarian cyst full of uh, echoes and moreover you see that it fulfills the uh, criteria of the cyst in the sense that you see posterior wall enhancement. This is the posterior wall enhancement or increased uh, because of increased root transmission from this uh, cyst right ovarian cyst and secondly uh, there is no calcification seen, no solid element is seen and no fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity and this is uh, our case of the day. Thank you very much.